Okay, good morning. Let me know that you can hear me. So, very interesting morning. There's quite a few gaps. There is a plethora of gaps today. There is a ridiculous amount of gaps today, actually. And like any other day, guess what? I'm not all good. But I did rate a couple things that meet the criteria. And to be honest with you, I'm not doing WMT, but this is probably going to work. It's just going to be very sloppy. So I'm not doing this. And again, there's a lot of gaps today, and they're not all good. So I'm going to watch the A, and this is what I'm probably doing. But it doesn't have a lot of volume in here now. So... And this I just don't think even works, but it might. I'm not going to do anything with Urban. I, I don't think it works. We'll go over this when we're done. I don't have time to go over it now. I'm going to have DKS up initially and uh, an Urban. The, I mean, not Urban. I'm sorry, A. I'm going to be watching A and DKS are the best things today. And I will tell you that they're both very wild, very whippy. The, none, there's nothing today that is not whippy and spready. Just, you know, FYI. There. Okay, so I'm watching A first, but I'm telling you that I have DKS up as well. Whichever one sets up. They're both going to have a spread. They're both going to have big stops. They're both going to have big targets today. But, you know, actually, after the yesterday one, I'm like, I'm like, hey, something drops $10 with a big uh, spread, I can handle it or stop compared to yesterday's thing. I don't know what happened here. This A isn't open yet. Okay, this is definitely, nothing's open yet. All right, there. All right, this has to get the volume in it. Well, let's look and see if this has volume in it yet. All right, this is rallying and getting the volume in it. This is rallying, getting more volume in it. No, I don't think Urban works, but... All right, nothing's set up yet. There's nothing to do yet. There's absolutely nothing to do at all yet. You could do urban 80 by 20. 80 by 10, 20 urban. 80 by 20 urban. It did not trigger. All right, I'm back on the A. This is what I wanted to see, but this is just not going to have a small stop. Let me just see what it's going to be here. 42. Well, it's not going to be that bad. Sixty by forty-two ten. Sixty by forty-two ten. I'm doing a. Sixty by forty-two ten. I'm doing a. And I don't know if Urban hit or not, but I wasn't gonna do it anyways. Sixty by forty-two ten a. And it looks like DKS is gonna hit too. DKS, you could do. Put the stop at fifty-four thirty-five. I'm not doing it. There, it just triggered. I'm gonna wait for the a. There's too much going on here. There, DKS just went. DKS just went there. I'm watching this to here. I'm, I'm going to stay with the A. In fact, I'm going to do 69. 69 by 4210A. 69 by 4210A, and you could already be in the DKS. Oh, uh, no. you got to wait on the A. I'm in, I'm in nothing. I'm in nothing right now. I, I, I'm not in a thing yet. This hit. This hit, and it's going. Uh, no. And this hit, and it's going. You know what? I'm going to do Urban because I didn't get anything yet. Here, I'm doing Urban right here. Put the stop at 3220. I mean, 3520. 3520 Urban. I'm in it. I'm in it. If I don't get something now, I'm going to miss it. 20. Let's just see if it's enough room. This is late. It's better than nothing. DKS is going. I, I'm in it. I'm in the Urban. 
Now the stop isn't big enough. Let's put it at 25. All right, I just did the urban. Okay, really quickly, you could have done this. You could have done this, and just this just had a big move. And A is going to set up now, but it's too sloppy. All right, I got the urban. I got the urban, but I'm late. The perfect entry here would have been at 80, which I did say. Just got off of it. All right, we may get an ad in here. All right, I'm just in one thing now. But DKS was good, and you could still be in it. Let's see if we get an ad in urban. Let me just make sure I have enough movement in here or room. Yeah, 25 is a stop. Okay, this is going to get a chance to get more. Let's see what this does. I shouldn't look too bad of an entry in this. This is just, I knew it was going to have a big stop. I knew it. Okay, I'm in the urban. Stops 25. And if you got it at 80, you have a better entry than me. This is going to go into work. I'm a little surprised here, but. Wow, well, this is off. No, this is off. This doesn't have enough volume in it. Okay, and no one should have taken it because it never hit. This actually was really nice. This almost dropped a dollar in here. Did anyone get this? I didn't, I didn't hit the trigger in this one. I'm in the urban. DKS, I called it quick. I mean, I told you where to put the stop. You just had to take it. Did anyone do the DKS? Okay, here we go, Urban. Fifty. Fifty. I'm gonna do fifty-five by thirty-five ten. I'm gonna take more. In fact, I'm gonna do it at fifty-nine. Fifty-nine by ten, and I'm lowering the stop. 59 by 3510 if you didn't do it or you want to do an ad. There, I'm taking it now because it's going to hit. 3510, 3510 urban. I just took more. 3510 is a stop for everything on urban. <laughs> this is going to go. And I'm no one's more surprised than me. We'll talk about this later. There, put, make sure the stop's in. 3510. All right, hold on. Oh, this was nice. Wow, did anybody get this? This is the whole trade in here for the morning. Be out of this thing. Be out of 80% of this DKS. Did anyone do DKS? Be out. Be out of it. That was jimongous. You have to be out of that. This is not going to set up at all now today. Wow. Okay, I'm in the urban. I'm in the urban. If you didn't do it, you could take it here. I lowered the stop. I even took more. DKS was the fast one, though. I called it. I didn't get it. I didn't have that up on my screen to take it as fast as it hit, but you could have done it. Did anyone do the DKS? Urban's going to go. Target's 33. Let's see if it gets there in the morning or anywhere close to it. And I just took more, and we lower the stop. <clears throat> it's actually acting really well considering how wild this thing is. Be out of this, though, people, if you did it. I mean, like, completely be out of it. Uh, I knew this would go. This is this was this didn't have enough volume this morning to do anything to set up quick. That was the problem with this. It did not have the volume to set up fast, but it's setting up now. Uh, honestly, if you want to do a, this is very late here. Forty two sixty though. Forty two sixty could short it. You could you could actually short the A and be in it with a stop at forty two sixty. I'm in the urban. I'm not taking anything else. DKS was great. If I had done DKS, I probably would have done anything else. I had them both up, but that just hit so, so fast. Well, I'm happy I got this here because, well, you, I could have still done the AA, but I just, this just doesn't have enough volume for me the way that I want it to look. So I'm in this and I did the ad. Who's in Urban with me? Did anyone at all do DKS? DKS was the fast, huge trade today, though. I didn't even look where the risk to reward was in that, really, because I just was calling it on my second screen in there. I'm NA. I don't even know what I'm saying. I have too many things in my mind here. you got to look at the charts. And I put the numbers in the room for this and the other thing. 
You know what I mean. I'm at A. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said AA. I'm in urban, though. I'm not in anything but urban, just to be clear. DKS was the one today, though, for the huge tree. And I'm not even going to call a kamikaze in this. Perfect entry would have been... Perfect entry still would have been 40 cents, but this was a nice move. It did drop it more than a dollar. It's deceiving, though, because you ha it had a wide stop because of the spread. I'm glad I went on to this today. Did anyone get this in the 80s? Urban. Let it break here. You got to let this break and break and break and break. This is this hasn't even started yet. And I, no one's more surprised than me it's working here today, but it is. I didn't even look at the market. Market did get up to new high in a spy though this morning. I had seen that. Not in the queues. Just let the market be. Okay, time it here. This is the urban I know. This is the urban I know so well. Whipper, 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 whipper. Here, here it goes. This is this is urban. This kind of action here. <laughs> Let's see. Can't be fooled for a second. This is the urban I know. <clears throat> Stop can't be over the high of the day now though anymore, people. Here we go. Here we go, urban. We're going to get a move in this today, and thank goodness, because it's a short week for me, and the holiday, and here we go. Here, nice trade in here. Try to hold this as long as you can, people. I don't, I don't even know what we're going to get the rest of the week. You've got to maximize the ones that are working, and no one's more surprised than me that this is working. I did rate it. I did the work to this, but I didn't think it would work. We'll go over this when we're done, but you've got to try to get some mo mojo in this now. Market is nowheresville today. A is very sloppy. Shouldn't go back over 42 if you want to short A right here with a stop at 42.10. You could. There's a kamikaze play for you and very aggressive. DKS is done. I told everybody to get out down in there. I hope that you did. I hope that you did. I hope you got out of DKS if you did it where I told you that move is done. Many of the stocks we've been doing lately actually have been on the expensive side, which is unusual for us, with the exception of yesterday's. But that was bouncy yesterday too, so. I, I literally got out of that at the low of the day yesterday. When I went back and looked at that, I was like, oh my lanta. Oh my lanta. And you could have even reshorted it, but who would have done that then afterwards? Now you could have taken some off in there. You could still take some off in here. This is only eight pennies up of a push up. But I didn't. But you could. Just if you feel like you got to get green very quickly, you can always just take the first move and just get out immediately wherever it has a little green. I don't trade like that, but you could if you're brand, brand new and you really, really just got to book money like every second you're breathing. <laughs> This breaks 34, though, so I'm just staying with it. It really shouldn't go over 35, so let's see here. Time of the day is good for everything. No, that's too tight. I mean, we'll see. We'll see how weak this is. We, we don't have the market with us, but we don't have it against us. We don't really need it either way, but I'm just saying anything could happen, meaning this is 100% on its own, 150% on its own, and here we go. New low in urban. Come on. Wow. I wish I would have gotten this, but I'm not going to whine and complain that I didn't get the perfect 80 number because I did get it shortly after, and at least I got it. And then I did the ad, which maybe if I would gotten an 80, I wouldn't have done the ad. Either way, it's not going to matter. Let it go. Try to get a dollar in urban if you can. Maximize your plays this week. It's a holiday. In a few days, you got to make money now. Now, 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 now. 
And I rated this gap and I did the numbers, but I gotta be honest with you, I was shocked it got down. I'm even more shocked that it's working, even though it did rain okay to do it. I really thought A was the one, but you know what the problem with A was? No volume. Here it goes. Urban, 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 urban. It's gonna break 34. A set up so late. I don't know why you went in heavy on this. I'm not sure why you went in heavy on this at all. This had this this had a big rally and never did the initial call that I gave. Don't reshort DKS. It's done. What happened to Walmart? Uh, I didn't even call this. Did anyone do this? You could have done it on your own. I didn't like this. I really wasn't crazy about this, but I still thought it would work. And it did. Did anybody do the Walmart? I didn't call that exactly. Crap. I'm not paying attention here. Hold on. Gosh darn it. This thing is so whippy I keep forgetting. I have to pay attention here now. I can't look at anything else. <sighs> yeah, this is the urban I know. This is the friendly, friendly urban I'm aware of. Crap. I should have got out of some in there. Well, let's just see. It's it's nine forty five. Even watching the clock. I can't I can't look at anything else now but this. I'm sorry. But Walmart worked and I didn't call that exactly. You would have had you on your own. Did anyone do Walmart? Sorry, I can't talk anymore. You can do whatever you want. You can have the stop at the initial place, but to be honest with you, this should not retest the high of the day. It's too late. It shouldn't go over 35, and if it does, it's probably going to flip. I'm not changing the stop. I'm just not doing it. So do whatever you feel like you need to do. I wish I would have seen that in there. I would have gotten out of something, but it's moving so fast, and I was looking at another chart. I'm staying with the trade here, though. And if it resets up and holds, I'll have another ad. But this is how this stock trades, and you got to know that. And I warned everyone today. It's holding, though. Okay. I'm going to call this again. It's going to be in the five, though. Next push through the low, though, I'm probably all out. I just decided here that's how I'm playing this thing. Next break through the low, wherever it goes, I'm taking it all. That's, that's, I, I was so aware of how whippy this was today. I mean, normally, I, but it acted so pretty this morning. But this is how that stock trades. All right. You want to take more of this, you can. You can take more of this urban right here, same stop, 35.10 in hell. It held perfectly, actually. You can take it on the break of eight. There. This is, here. Here. It just set up again. you got to have the stops where I tell you to put them. You can't lose conviction in the trade. If you do, I don't even know why you took it or you shouldn't have just taken it all out in there when you're off the profit of 50, 60 cents, whatever it was. Uh, you know, it's going to break the low in here. I did feel it would get down to 34, but I'm probably going to just take it all out through the break because this is whippy. I know that about this stock. I don't want to have any kind of big bounce against me at 10 o'clock. If I can get a pushing to 10 o'clock I've got 14 minutes left that feels like 10 hours in this stock and I may get it down a dollar in that time but you know if this is a reset up again I wouldn't have done it I wouldn't have done it this was the play boom market is nowhere market is nowhere <clears throat> Urban, I know. All right, let's just take a survey. I'm probably not calling anything else today. So I called DKS very quickly. I didn't have it set up to do it. That was the fast, quick, hard play today. The risk reward, though, wasn't anything insane, but it did drop more than a dollar. Urban, 
I'm in. I did the ad. It held this top perfectly. Told you 75 was too tight. I hope nobody had it there. It's setting up on the five. It's not doing anything wrong. It really hasn't sold off yet. I don't know how much patience you've got. I think through 34 it does. I'm in this. I, I have enough of this to make it count no matter where I get out now. So I'm trying to do my best to be solid. But if I had been able to get out of there under 30, I might have. But you know what? It pushed back so hard, I, I may not have. So all is well. It's going to break the low. Uh, a had not enough volume in the morning, which I knew, but really should have worked. If it had volume, it would have. Here we go, Urban. Here, here we go. Yeah. Here we go, Urban. Just do exactly what I'm doing. Here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, Urban. Who killed it? I hope no one killed it. This is why you have to know what you're doing with your trades. Man, look at that nice rubber band. Let it go, let it go. It's going to break 34. Time of the day is good. 11 more minutes till 10 o'clock. Trading is easy when you know what to do. And sometimes you don't know until it opens, even if you have everything figured out. Because I didn't have a 1,000% conviction that this would go right today. I really thought it may not. Here we go, Urban. But I did it anyways. Why the rating told me it was good, and I did know the numbers. But I was prepared in the morning, actually, for it to open and reverse swoosh. I really thought that it was going to. I really Here, hold on. I'm taking half out of this and not holding through any bounce if it bounces against me. I, I didn't take it yet, but I'm not holding through a bounce up over 30 here. It's got to break 34 right now. It's too, 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 too close. I'm just going to take half off here, though, if it bounces hard. And if it doesn't, I'm staying with the whole thing. <sighs> All right. Under 34, 33, 6, 75. 3370, 3360. Here, it's gonna break 34. This is a nice trade, people. <laughs> who stayed with it? Who did it? Who killed it? Who didn't do it? Who did what? Here, I just took half off. I just took half off. I just took half off right in there. Uh because it just was too close to the number. Alright, the stop has to go back though at the initial place. 3510. All right, I just got out of half. That was a good decision. Yep, seven pennies from the first target. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, all right. Woo! All right, so I still have half of this to see. I'm going to give it a little more time. I don't have the market against me. I'm not doing anything else. Uh, what did this ever do? Everybody else got out of half? Good. Yeah, this isn't right. No one should be in this short in here now. It should have broken and not gotten over 42 if it was going to work today. It just did not have enough volume to follow through in the gap. You never know either way. It could have come into the open. It, it didn't. In fact, then I was wondering if the market was even open. And I saw the other one open, and this wasn't open. It was a late open. It just didn't play out right. WMT worked. Did anyone do this? This was the trade in here, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trade. Good risk to reward in this. 10 cents stop with a cushion and move 70 cents. This is a 7R trade. Uh, on the second entry, not the first. I did not call this. This isn't done. It's going to break 77. It's too late to call it now. And there was too many things to watch today to watch something that didn't get a good rating. But WMT, I told you I thought would work, even though it didn't rate well. And it did. You know what? This was a swing trade. Did anyone? Is anyone still in this swing trade? I mean, I haven't even gone back and looked at this. This was a swing trade I called months ago. Did I, is anyone still in it? Jaguar Paw? I don't even know if Galahad, if you did it, but, but, but. I mean, this has gone past, I think, all the numbers they even gave for this to go at this point. Uh, oh, I thought it was like a 33 or something crazy. No, it, I was like, wait a minute. I would be screaming if I saw my P&L. This is, <laughs> this is just, I'm, I'm, I got out of half. I mean, I got to give this some time here. No. 
Do whatever you got to do. If you feel like you absolutely, 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 absolutely have to get out of this, then do do it. You're out of the WMT? All right. Well, that you know, this was a nice one. For some reason, Galahad, you always get out of the ones that go and work huge too fast, and the ones that don't, you stay in too long. I, I don't know. You have to change that energy. It's, it's really that your karma. You've got to turn that around. This did not rate well today, but my instinct told me that it would work. DKS did rate well and did work, and I called it but did not do it. Huge fast trade. I would have been all out in the drop in there. I told you get out of the whole thing. It had one more move and one more push, but this is exhausted at this point. I mean, this is absolutely exhausted at this moment. I would not be in this at all. A had not enough volume. Still should have worked. Great continuation gap for tomorrow. Although I hope we get something good. Uh, the spread in this has thinned out. The volume is in it finally, but it really should have never backed up over 42 a second time. So be off of it now. Could it go red today? Sure. Do I think it does? No. No, I don't. I don't think it gets anywhere near the low of the day, so no one should be in that short. Urban's going to break 34 as planned, and I'm already out of half. It was the right decision. Why? Time of the day. Could have bounced, but could have been big. I did an ad in this, which was aggressive, but I felt then the way that it opened in the first five minutes of the day, which I'm very, very good at reading, would work out, even though it was unexpected. I really didn't expect it to be like that, but I read the first five minutes, and we hit it. Here we go. Urban under 34. You do the rating. Urban rated 20 points. You don't have to do anything other than that. You're in this because it rated well. That's it. DKS rated well too. You do it, it worked. You don't have to do anything else but the ones that rate well. I'm telling you that you could have done WMT. It did not rate well. It was right on the cusp. But you shouldn't have done that based on the rating. And I never called it and that's why I didn't watch it. There was plenty to do that rated well. Three things. But I was, the four I looked at, I thought that that would work even though it didn't rate well is my point. But, I mean, you'd have to do three or four things. I mean, no one in here is doing three or four things at once. Oh, Galahad, his comment. Galahad does not have a trading plan, I think, for swing trades, which Galahad needs to write up. And the next time we do the mentoring session, we can do that. Galahad needs a trading plan for swing trades and the options if you're doing them. If you don't have a trading plan for any of those things, you shouldn't be doing them. If you do, then you do them. I don't think you do because you do a different thing every time. That's the comment for that. It's not about instinct. It's you have a trading plan and you follow it. You're either getting it out of half of the first target, one third of the first target, a quarter of the first target, a third of the next target, this much of the next target, taking it and holding it to the full target, whatever. I mean, you have to, there's so many different ways you could do it, but you do need a trading plan and then you just follow it. The same on every one. And it seems to be that the karma is you're just doing whatever you feel like on the fly and that's why it's just not working out you're making like a little in the ones that work and then the ones that go on to be huge you're not getting or you kill it it's just like back and forth back and forth back and forth it is part of evolving but the trading plan helps you evolve don't think that having a trading plan stops the evolution do you have any idea how many oh something funny happened to me lately here hold on I'll tell you in a minute. I don't want to get too sidetracked here. i got to pay attention here. I still am in half of this. No, it did not bring 34 yet, but I think it's going to. Ah, it didn't, though, yet. Crap. Just do it. <sighs> On my command, Urban, go under 34 in the next two minutes. Right now, I have things to do today. Uh... There's probably some kind of idiot buyer there. Trader gal's asking if it's a buyer at 34. Do I think it's a problem buyer? No. Do I think it's an idiot? Yes, absolutely. Um, you're holding half the position of Urban. Jaguar Paw said fine. No, you didn't do the WMT. All right, that's fine. Well, we did it. Well, I called it in here twice, but I didn't do this other one. You could have done this. This is crazy, but, I mean, this was a big rally. You could have taken this in the initial entry back up in here. Insanity. 
but I didn't do it. You could have done it, gotten all out, and then redone it in here. But, I, you know, I did this one and then this one. But you could have done this one, this one, and this one. So, I mean, you could, you could have 20,000 shares of this if you want. But I'd be like I was yesterday in the whatchamacallit one with my heart pounding. <sighs> Fate was with me yesterday because I got bumped on the one when I didn't get out of the first thing with the exit, but then, then I ended up getting out of the perfect low of the day on the second one. So the, the trader gods were with me yesterday in the end with the JSO. Because I got gypped on the first one. I couldn't get out where I wanted to. And actually, I split my size up in two lots. I never even had time to call the broker about that. I wonder if that was the issue. Because then, well, plus the ECN. How does a person change that? What does the signal one reads has to be more than instinct? Are, are you talking about day trading or swing trading now? Or just in general, trader gal? Is this a general overall question? Or are you specific to something specifically? As far as doing ads or holding to targets? Or what do you mean? The instinct I've developed overall for the day trading portion of it is the way that something acts live. So the way that it acts live, okay? Like every once in a blue moon, like I think I did that yesterday too. No, this didn't break 34 yet. Hold on. I don't want to get too sidetracked here. You, you could have taken it all out in there. I mean, you really could have actually. I didn't. <clears throat> or another idea is put the stop at break even if you want to hold the rest. Anyways, it's how something trades live. That develops the instinct, and you're doing the same thing every day. This is where I, I really am specialized in what I do because I don't do anything other than this. So you never develop any instinct in anything if you're doing different things every day. Do you understand what I'm saying? I mean, you already have an instinct now or you wouldn't do some of the continuation gaps you do. Every once in a while, you'll say, boop, boop, boo, I like this one and I don't look at it or whatever. And then we go back and it works because I like the new ones. But you do have an instinct. You just aren't giving yourself any credit for it. And everyone in here that's been with me for any more than a week does. The combination of the class and trading live, it starts to develop. Some people have more than others because they've been here longer. Shower Singer is a good example of that. He's quiet as a mouse and only says something once every three days, but he does have a good instinct. And he makes money. He's probably one of the most consistent traders in here, uh, I think. I don't know. I mean, I don't talk to him exactly, but he's been with me a long time. So I think that the evolution happens over time with your level of commitment and just being here and doing it and kind of absorbing everything I'm saying and watching it live. You have to take the combination of the things I'm saying with your own ability. And that is different for everybody in here, depending on their background and all the other things that we know. So I think it's like really about the fact that there's not like one thing that develops intuition. It's practice, like riding a bike. We practice in here. We can't practice any more than we do. We short every day. Here we go. Under 34. And, the, and that's why we're good. It is going to break 34. Yes. Here, this is going to go to 33 today. It could even break 33 maybe. Let me look at the market. Hold on. Come on, Urban. So it's, it's the live time trading that develops the instinct, doing the same thing and replicating it over and over. Many, many day traders don't do the same thing every day. They're doing 10 different types of things every day, and they never develop an instinct or get good at anything at all. So I'm training you right. You are developing it. You, you, whether you know it or not, I'm telling you, you are from the things that you say. And, and it will get better over time. Here, it's going to do it. Man, this is really going to go now. I don't know why I struggled with that number, but nobody was really buying it. It was important. Let it break. Here. Here. All right, 3360 is a number that you got to watch at. 3375, 3360, but I think this is going to break hard. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. There, that's exactly what I wanted to see. <gasps> Look at how beautiful that is. 
I, I'm just not even going to touch it. My hand isn't even on the keyboard. 10.02. We broke after 10. It's going now. It looks great. I did take half that earlier just to get green. Just let it go, 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 go. I think this could go to thir three, two, something, something. But I don't know if that happens here in the morning. This is a nice trade, people. Memorial Day week. In less than a week, we need the good ones. I hope everybody held some of it at least. Let's look at the market. Okay. This is just no Hurstville. I mean, the market has nothing to do at all with any of itself. Oh, this one again. I could have called this again, but why? The later it gets, the less I feel like calling them. WMT is going to go to 77, that's for sure. And here we are. In two weeks of trading live, you only lost in one trade. Seven out of eight winners, you're the best. Thank you, frequent flyer. I have a feeling you're, you're being very, 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 very disciplined with me, what I'm calling. That's good for you. Is still gonna keep going. Try to stay with it. I know it's hard. Geez, that's that's a pretty good. I don't see. I don't even track anything. Here. Look, 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 look. Go under eighty, under eighty. Let it thirty three. Here, man. I should have done the third ad. So Trader Gal is saying basically. She didn't out of the pullback. It's going to go. Let it break 80. I mean, I just know that this goes. I just don't want to be in this all day, though. Let me just look here. 10.04. Crap. See, this is when you really have to use your brain. No, it's going to break. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, I know I know it keeps going. I, I'm just going to lay loose here. It's scary to think of losing a profit you already booked, and that's a risk. You people are so funny. You you are hilarious people. It's scary to think of losing the profits. Most people are scared about losing, just losing. And you're talking about being scared of losing profits. You people are hilarious. I could write a book just on you people. Here, you could get out of this if you want. It may bounce. I really think it keeps going. But if you can't stomach it or can't stand it, then you could take the whole thing out. This is a dollar in here for the entry. Do whatever you got to do. Do whatever you got to do. And I'm staying with the half I have. I really love the way that it looks now. And I still don't think it has had enough selling in here. Here. Oh, I knew it. I knew it would go. It's going to break 80. It really has to break 33.50, though, to, to go right down to 33. And I don't know if it's going to happen here in the next 10 minutes. But here, that's exactly what I want to see. This look. Happy Memorial Day. Here, 1006. Nice, 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 nice. Thank you. This is good luck for my photo shoot. Come on, Urban. Go. All right, let's not get piggish, though. Hold on. to shine some red it's really making me want to hold urban all right let's try to hold a little bit more did anyone not do this as it turns out this is going to be the home run because this could go two dollars from where we took it and and i did the ad dks was a quickie though here it's going to break 70 try 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 to stay with it 25 more cents and we should just drop like a brick but if it bounces back and on you can't take it anymore this is more than a dollar and this is uh, this is you know this is money people not that it's never not money but you know what i mean jeez i wish i would have done the third ad this is that would have been insane though because i actually took more risk doing the second ad here we go hold it under 50 
my gosh, I have so many things to do today. This is working out gorgeously for my whole life today. Go, Urban! I wouldn't have wanted to stay in this all day, and I'm getting it all here in the morning. I have so many things to do, and it's just perfect. Here, hold on. We have to watch 60, 65. No, this bar doesn't close in the 15 minutes, though, for seven more minutes, and I really think it closes hard, hard red. This thing here, I really feel, closes like a giant monster, so try to stay with it. It has seven more minutes. I just feel like that bar is going to be Megalodon. Try your hardest. You want four? Four what? Four days like this in a row? <laughs> I'm just so happy that today isn't like the whippiness of the other one. It's like trading a stock. It's like a penny stock. It's whippy. Like that was like ridiculousness yesterday. Like here, it's going to break 16. When I went back and saw I get out of that at the low, then I was like, and when I saw what it did, I was like, oh my lanta. I can't answer the door right now. Who is it? I can't answer it. I'm sorry. Can you come back? Oh, crap. Sixty. This really is the first target. This is the first target right in here. So you could take it all out in here. This is the first target. I know. I, I don't know why I didn't call maintenance, but I can't. I'm in the treasury. I can't, I can't leave here now. This is. I might have to take this. Here, it's going to break 60. Try to stay with it. Here, it's going to break 60. Under 50, this thing falls another dollar. I'm telling you right now, try to stay with the trade. It's not doing anything wrong. This is a great call, people. I'm giving myself a round of applause for even doing it and doing the ad. Stay with it. It's going to break 60. Oh, come on. Just do it. No, I'm staying with it. I'm still with the trade. Do whatever you have to do here but because it, it could bounce. But I really think it's going to go. Here, it's going to try to do it right now. Two more pennies. Two more pennies and it's under 60. Look at the daily chart. Look at the daily chart. This is what gives me the conviction. Look at that right there. When we're done, we'll go over the whole thing. Again, I was very surprised at this gap down tonight or last night. But we, we'll just we'll go over when we're done here. It's going to break 60. This is a great call. I should have just held the whole darn thing down there, but because I did the ad, that was the right thing to do to get green something. Here, it's going to break 60. Right now, it's going to go down. This is a huge call. $2 this is this going to go. I think it goes a 32 cent thing. Oh, don't you dare. All right, my hand is on the button, but I really think it breaks. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna. Crap, I don't want this to get over seven either. Oh, it's going to break. I know it is. I know it is. This is ridiculous. <sighs> it's just so close to 10.15 though. That's the problem. All right. My hand is on the button here. It didn't break 60 yet. I do feel that it does. But it's so close to the next time here that I can't take the chance. I, I know that it is going to go to 33, though, today. I, I just know it. But I'm not going to hold for a rally for an hour to get it down there. There, I took it. I'm out. I took it. I took it. I'm out. 
I, I, I really think this goes, I really think this breaks 60. I really think this goes and falls and drops all the way down to 33, but I just took the whole thing. I, I can't, this is going to push back and it could go up like another 80 cents here. I'm not going to suffer through it. Just hang on one second here. I want to see what the maintenance people want. I, and we're going to go over this. I'm all out. I'm all done. I don't, I didn't just want to hang through a rally here, time of the day and everything else, but I really still think this could go another dollar. I, and it had, it had everything going for it here to break. It just didn't do it. Just hang on one second. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> no, it wasn't Mike the Muscle Man. It was Kenny. It's just regular maintenance. They change the air conditioning filters, and they do something else. So that's fine. He's, he's got to do the rest of the haul, and I said just come back. <clears throat> okay. All right, so I took this whole thing. Uh, I, I think that was a good decision if you want to be out of it for the morning. But I'm not saying this doesn't go everywhere else I just said. But the problem is, again, how long do you want to be in this? I don't want to be in this all morning. I mean, all day. I'm sorry. We were in it all morning, though. And if you want to try to stay through it, you know, I don't even know if I can find a place for you to lower the stop, actually. If you want to try to hold it through, 35.55-ish. But see, that's so far away. That would be ridiculousness. You know, you'd, be, you'd give it back a dollar if you got, if it trailed against you there. So I think you could take, you could take out another quarter here if you want to try to hold it, or you could have taken the whole thing like me because I did the ad and had more risk in this than normal and time of the day here, I decided to take it all. Oh, watch here. Now look, it's, it's maybe even do it now, but I'm all out. And if you're still in this, you could, you could be tight with it even over this little guy. Um, 90. Is, okay, who's doing what? Who's still in this? Who's all out of it? Who's all doing what? Magic88, he's brand new. He just did the class. All out, great trade. Thank you. This was a great trade because I really was not prepared mentally to do this today. I mean, this was like just... I mean, I did the work on it this morning, but... I wasn't like mentally prepared to do this today and I did it anyways. <clears throat> and, and, and there's days I need to mentally prepare for stuff. And quite frankly, uh, this would have been one of those because of the fact that I'm so aware of the absolute, absolute whippiness of this stock. It's just very, very, very wimpy, and I wasn't mentally prepared to do it, but I did it. He probably heard me talking and was wondering, what is she saying? <laughs> he was probably like, he was probably like looking outside the door, like, what? Who is she talking to? Here, if you're still in this, it's trying to break 60. If you're still in this, it's trying to break 60. You may actually even get it. I hope that you do. Um, Cruiser took half out when I did, holding the rest. Trader Gal's in a quarter. Trader Gal, you're back to your old name. <laughs> Beanie's all out. Galahad's all out. 
Magic 88 is reminding that me about Godzilla's ass. That's a funny one. We have to go over that. If we have time today, we'll go over that with Urban. If not, we'll do it tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Here, this is gonna here, this is gonna break 60. Those of you are still in it. Here you go. Here you're getting it. Man, this is I knew that it would, but I wanted it to uh, right there at 1015. This this will go to 33. Here, you're all getting it now. Like this is it. This is the trade. This is the whole thing in here. Wherever this goes, you gotta be all out. It has to break 60, and wherever it goes, you gotta be all out. I mean, this is it now. There it goes. It just broke it. I have no patience. Here, this is beautiful. This is a great call. So you'll get this down to 33 now if it breaks 50. It didn't yet, but it looks like it's going to. Watch that, though. The 15 minute looks great. This is a huge call. Oh, it's going to break 50. Wow, it's going to come. Oh, you wish you would have done all of the stocks I rated. I wish someone in here would do that every day. I wish someone would do everything that I like every day. Whatever it is, whether it's a continuation gap I call or a new gap I call, that person will probably make more money than me. I, I, I don't do that. I don't do everything I like, but, you know. Look. And you almost, you really would have to have a couple of monitors. You're welcome, Jaguar Paw. I think this is really does break 50 here now. Let's look at the market. Let's see what these other retailers did with their urban today. You'd have to be really good with sizing in your head to trade more than one thing at a time. And you do have to be like that normally, I think. But you really would have to, obviously, if you did more than one thing. This is out tomorrow morning. AO, Staples, Target. Let me just look at some of these things that are out tomorrow morning. We're going to get a good one tomorrow. I mean, I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, I can't tell from these which of any of these or what of these, but I'm telling you we will get another going tomorrow. There's just too many things here that are that 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 have the possibility in their arrangement. Target tomorrow too. Low tomorrow morning. Last week was a good week. This is week is a good week. Next week will be a good week. Uh, low. Just just don't trade around the holiday. That's all. Don't screw up these great days we've had by trading around the holiday. The days I have their room closed, don't trade. Okay? Let's see how disciplined some of you can be. Uh, this. That probably gaps up, but, you know, I guess we'll see what happens between this and the target. Did this break 50 yet? Yeah, it did, but only by two pennies. Well, I thought that would break that harder. It doesn't really count, actually. But this this is beautiful. So I don't, you know, it's up to you. If you want to try to hold this all the way down to 33, I think it could break 33 today. And that would be a just a jimongous move. But if you took this here, I couldn't blame you. I'm all out of it. You did squeeze a little bit more out of it if you stayed through it down in here to 50-something than where I got out. But... This, this is going to bounce at some point this morning. I just don't know the exact time. I don't know if it's 10.30, 10.45. I was expecting a bounce at 10.15. The bounce at 10.15 was not big, though. It was just one green bar. But it could have been big. But prepare for a bounce in this here somewhere between now and 11. I just don't think it means, makes sense to hold the whole position or even 75% of the position or half the position through a big bounce in this because it will just reset up if you want to retake it. 
Does anyone have any questions about urban? What do you think will be a good gap, Moonraker? Which one are you talking about? Three out of four work today. You have to be good with sizing. It broke 50 and bounced. Yeah, that doesn't even count to me. It's 48. That doesn't count at all, actually. I wanted it to break like that. It doesn't count. Good job, Jaguar Pa. Conviction. Everyone has a certain amount of capital to trade with. That's everyone. So you have to, if you want to do swing trades and day trading with me, you could divvy it up and divide it. If you just want to do day trades, you just do the day trades. If you just want to do swing trades, you just do the swing trades. Everyone has an amount of money that they have that I wouldn't call it limited. I'm call, I just don't say limited. Limited sounds limited. Say this is what I have to work with. This is the amount. Everyone does, even rich people. Okay, so you have this amount and you make it work. WMT trend this year has been down. Well, I don't know. I don't think so, but let me look at it. Uh, where are people shopping? Here, this did get to 77. I think they're still shopping here as much as anywhere. Target 2 and all the places as well. Remember, not only things correlate in the same way that we look at things for the way that the stock price trades. Do I think urban will be a good continuation gap? I'll look at that in a minute after I look at the WMT. You want to know how is Jaguar Paw doing with the options if he does options in your swing calls? Jaguar Paw, how are you doing? How are you doing? What are you in now again? You're still in the market, that I know. I don't remember the other ones. No, this is not in a downtrend. This is not in a downtrend even after today. So this, I don't know what this, if this does go into a downtrend, but as of right now, it's not. Uh, urban. Here this goes. This just made a new low in here. It did break 50. This is this is gonna go. Thir this could go to 32. I mean, I might be upset if it goes to 32 because <laughs> I'm already out of it. But this, I mean, that's that wouldn't be without the within the realm of possibility today here. Uh, it really depends, Moonraker, where this closes. I can't say if this falls through tomorrow or not unless I see where it closes it you know what I'm saying if this I can't say until I see where it closes if we close right now at this second at 1025 at 3352 it would continue tomorrow but by the end of today today it could look completely different so it really depends how it closes it's a very interesting chart here Oh, I'm sorry. I don't remember that. You briefed me on a previous email. You're, overall, you're doing well. We can go over the details Thursday. Okay. Overall, he's doing well, he just said. He hasn't done every one of them, but he's done some. I think overall, he's doing well, he said. Watch this here though, 1030, if you're still in the urban. Some of these movers, you could have retaken them in every pullback. We'd have to devise a plan on that, yes. Because if you can't lower the stop at a proper place not to get dinged out, look, this is going, it's gonna go to 33. Jeez Louise, look at this. Look, 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 it's gonna go. And it's still gonna do in here in the morning. I probably should have kept the rest, but I really had enough risk in here that I'm happy with my day monetarily. But this is, you could get, look, this is going to go. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Who's still in this right now, right in the room? In fact, right now, I want to know right now today in the room, how much money everybody's up. I want a tally of the room right now. Put in the room how much money you have booked today or up today in this trade. I want it. I want to see some solid numbers here. I want money right in the room. Everybody in here should be up. There is no one in here that shouldn't be up today. 
As Trader Gal pointed out, if you did every call I made, three of the four set up right and worked. This is huge. DKS fell more than a dollar. This is could go two dollars here or more. I want to know how much money everybody's up right in here, right in the room, right now today. I'm going to tally it up. This is the kind of stuff that helps your conviction to do it day after day after day after day. It's just for you. It's not for me. This is for you. I'm going to tally up the room results right here. You have to know that you can do it. Whatever amount you're making. Look at this. And I, I'm not in this anymore. I did the right thing for myself though, but because this could have bounced bit. And I, and I had, I had, I wouldn't have been happy with the amount of money that I had in this if I hadn't gotten out of it there. But this is great. Jaguar Plame 500, line 38, 685. Magic 88, $1,500. Is that the biggest trade you've ever made as a day trade? You just did the class too. Write it in the room if that's the biggest trade money you've ever made in a day trade. Frequent flyer still in half. Be careful here. 36 cents from the dream target here of 33. Time of the day, 10.30. Reversal time, four bars down in the 15-minute chart. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. 584, 500. I don't see any numbers from Surf Dog. 360, that was your biggest trade of your life? I thought so. That's pretty great. That's really pretty great. That's really very good. 360, good job. Freaking flyers out. How much did you make? Here, let's tally it up. And not everyone's answering, but. Frequent flyer, you made over $1,000 today. You, I, I know that you have never made that much money in a swing in a day trade in your life. That's I know that for a fact. Is this your first comma day? Here, I really think this is the morning exit, though, in urban people. Beware. I think this is it. And I know I said that like 20 cents ago, but I'm serious here now. Moonraker, when I saw that number, I was like, $8,000? Huh? I was like, woo! 825 okay. If, if $8,000, I was going to start clapping for you. <laughs> $8,000? I want your account. <laughs> well, unless you did all, all the ads. That, that, it actually, that could have been 100% possible if you did like 17 ads in here. But you would have had to take the risk. You still would be assuming the risk. Boom, boom, and boom. Wow. I mean, look at this. You could put the stop at 53 or 52. Surf Dog, are you alive? No numbers from you. What about Shower Singer? Are you still in it? Cruiser, are you still in it? Who's still in this? I mean, obviously some of you are. You're not answering the money you made. You are. Who is still in this thing? Good job if you're still in it. I mean, I really think this is like seconds away from being done. Magic 88 did the ad. Good job. I would not let this bounce over 50. That's my two cents. Trader Gal has a quarter. That's okay. No, I think this is done for the morning. I'm looking at the, the bar here. Let me just go look at this. And the market's trying to hold in the sky, and, and I don't think it goes anywhere today, but it's trying. Wow, big day for Cruiser too. Everybody's got comma days in here. 1400 Trader Gal wants to squeeze every penny out of this she can. That's all right. Whatever you got to do. I thought Moonraker was serious when she said she made over $8,000. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I only heard from nine people. Either, how could you How could you not want to tell me how much you made? You can't be ashamed. You're up. Frequent Flyer, you did a good job today. Magic 88, this is some of your biggest days ever. So congratulations. And you're both new. And that's really fantastic. All right, let's tell you what people did tell me. That's over $7,300. That's great. So do you see as one, here, this is still going. Do you see as one person, you know, trading that anything's possible for what you can make? It depends how much you're risking. So, you know, if you, and ads aside, forget the ads, okay? It's, it is about size. 
So you've got to get to the point, and this is the whole discussion we were having earlier about instinct. How do you ever get the instinct? By doing the same thing over and over and getting good. How do you ever take size? By getting good. You, you can't take size unless you're good. Unless you have so much money, you can, you can withstand the downturns by being wrong well, the days that you're wrong because it, you know, you'll be down a lot then if you take big size if you're wrong. So you are able to do it by knowing that you're right so much that when you have to take your lickens and you're wrong, it doesn't smart that much because you don't have to take your lickens that often. And it may be annoying when you do, but it doesn't happen that often and therefore it's not a big deal. And the days that you make money, you're up so much that you have a lot of confidence and conviction. You've got the money in your account to take the risk and you can do it. This looks like it's still going here. The, look at the 15 minute chart and I thought this was going to bounce at 1030. It's still not. I and mean, this is a nice sell off here in urban. So I don't, I don't know if this will continue tomorrow, but as far as today, you look at the market. Um, the market's trying to hold. I just wouldn't let this go over 50. That's all. This could even set up in the 50 minute chart around lunch or one o'clock in the afternoon. I won't be doing that, but you could. Let's just go over the trade we did here again today. And if anyone else wants to share what they're up, that'd be great. So here was the short, here was the drop. Do I get out of something with one red bar? The answer is no. Rally back, short it, and look at where I told you to put the stop. I mean, boy, I really know how to trade well. Do you see if you would have put this here, you would have gotten dinged out? Do you see that's what happened here with some people? They had it too tight. I knew where to put it. And I got to tell you, this was aggressive. This was aggressive in here. This really isn't 100% proper, but I saw it. And I knew where to put the stop. And this is aggressive. Anyways, it pushed back. And I knew that this had to hold. And it shouldn't have gone over the number I had to stop. And I knew it was way too late for this to flip over the high and work on the day still. So this was either going to take me out or it was going to go into work. It held. I mean, this, is, this was a great call because the numbers were so accurate that we used. You could have taken more there at the original price, but you would have been taking more risk. Actually, no, not really, because the original stop of the original entry was higher. So you could have taken more here at the same price and actually risk less. Because the stop here was 35.10 then. So any way you slice it, this was a beautiful trade. Everyone should have gotten at least a dollar out of this or more. Everyone, everyone, everyone. And, and I just think this is really done for the morning though. But for those of you that are still in it, I mean, bar by bar it. Bar by bar it, bar by bar it, bar by bar it. Every, don't let this push. When I'm telling you right now, if you're in this still, and this is whenever this is ready to push back, every short still in it is going to scramble to cover. So I'm just warning you, it could go poof, right up to 90. So I'm just telling you right now, this is how the stock trades. I know it's looking beautiful and it went more than I thought here from where I exited it, but I'm just letting you know, I'm just telling you, when this is done here for the morning, it's going to go shoo, like that. So FYI, it may not be worth it to hold, like to get pooped out of it. You have to decide what you really want to do as far as your monetary risk for the ads. To be honest with you, many, many times I take twice the risk. Now, the reason I'm doing that is for the confirmation. I'm getting the confirmation of the conviction. Therefore, it's like two trades in one. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm not saying you have to do that at all. Here, this is done for the morning. Don't let it get over 50. I said and it's over 50. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying, I take twice the risk for the most part because of the fact that I feel the confirmation and the conviction. It's really no different than taking two separate trades. I'm allowed to take more than two trades in a day anyway, so what's the difference? Let's go over the market. The market is very, 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 very bullish and made a new high yesterday, as I predicted. Did not get up to the next target of 215, but it will. And it's looking like it's trying to do it before the holiday week. Today is only Tuesday. Is today Tuesday? Yes, it's Tuesday. Tuesday, and we could do it by the end of the week. Urban, I thought, would gap up. It did not. It gapped down. Was I surprised? Yes, I was surprised. And when I looked at the gap, I said, you know what? I'm not even going to rate it tonight because this could look so different from the morning 
I'm not even going to bother with it. And I usually don't read stuff at night, but you could. So I waited to the morning and came in with a clash, fresh, clear mind with no bias. No bias that it was going to work as a short because it gapped down. And no bias that it was not going to work as a short because of the fact that it actually gapped up. I rated the gap, but I was skeptical that it would open correctly to short. In other words, I didn't want to watch it first because I thought that it might reverse swoosh. It didn't. It didn't. It did not do it. And really, that's what I thought it would do. But when it didn't, we did it. And again, going back to how do you know what to do with stuff, you got to be able to read the early time frame, which I teach you how to do in the class. Oh, look at this. I, here, I this was the trade. This one here, the quick out. I didn't think it set up again, but it did. Again, it should have been quick out. This is this this could even go green now. But it was a great, great, fast, quick short here in the morning. And those of you that did that made money very quickly. A never set up right. I had called the numbers, but then it never triggered. It didn't have the volume. Then it looked like it was going to hold. It really needed to hold 42. Then it didn't. Then it flipped over. And now it's completely green. Did this open a reverse swoosh? I think it even might have. I think it even might have. It looks like it did. It was a late opening too. Not enough volume. It, it just didn't do anything that it was supposed to do today. And actually, I don't even think this continues tomorrow now looking at the way this looks. So forget that one. Uh, the WMT did not rate well, but I felt that it would work if it set up correctly. I just didn't watch it into the open. It was right on the cusp. You could have done it. You could have waited for the secondary entry, which was a better entry anyways, and actually had a great risk to reward. And you would have had time to do DKS and then this, or you would have had time to do this and the urban. Because urban set up before this, you could have done a second trade on this. I mean, there was time to do more than one thing today if I had felt like it, but I didn't want to get crazy and I didn't want to get nuts. And I really wasn't planning on doing urban this morning when I rolled out of bed. So the fact is that I kind of, I mean, I had everything figured out for this, but I really did it on the fly. Because, what did I have for the resistance for this? No, oh, look at that. Uh, this, this, I actually had a much, much higher level of resistance for this than it actually held. So, I just, I just saw that now. That would have given me more com conviction if I had even noticed that this morning. But, this actually held a number that, this actually held lower underneath the resistance that I had originally looked at so if i had noticed that earlier it would have maybe i would have done the third ad but it doesn't matter i still did it and a great trade and this is over for the morning but you could probably do it later when something holds below the least level of resistance it is extremely weak when it holds the least level of resistance it is extremely weak if it goes above the first level of resistance and touches on the second one i'll still do it but if it goes over the level that I say for the maximum resistance, it is off. It is absolutely off. It won't go red right in the day, and the chances of it working are zero. And every once in a while, if it do, you shouldn't be concerned if it goes without us. If there are trades that should not be shorted on the day, they don't have enough weakness in them. And Urban had enough momentum in it here today to drop and break 33 and get to 32 something in the morning, but it's getting tired. It's clear that it's tired. I had a good exit on this. I did everything right. I really did everything right on this, so I'm very happy with myself and my day and the money that I'm up and yesterday too, uh, getting out of the low with the JSO. I mean, just let's just stay doing what we're doing here. Focus, focus, focus. It took about nine months before you realize how much a difference an ad can make. Not only confirmation, but also allows you to hold more of it longer. I know it's going to be big when we get an ad. Oh, that was nice. Cruiser's been with me a long time too and does very well as well. And it's very, very controlled. He's a controlled person. I think it has a lot to do with your personality. If you're a controlled person, you'll do well. If you know you're not a controlled person, then you got to work on it. I'm an excitable person, but I'm a controlled person, meaning I can gain the control when I ask it of myself because I'm such a strong-willed person. So if I ask it of myself, I will do it. Okay, so tomorrow there's a bunch of things. Staples, Target, Ango, not tonight, but tomorrow. 
Not crazy about anything tonight, so there's nothing really to go over. Market is probably not going to make a new high today. Well, it did in the gap, but I don't think it follows through green today. Could it? Yes. The market could do anything bullish at once. It could do anything in the world. I will never be surprised when I see this do something bullish ever again. So could it do it today? Yes. Do I think it's going to? No. I think it's going to rest today and possibly do it tomorrow. And we did gap up over the high this morning, so I think it's just pooped. But it could get up to 214 or 215 and just slightly, just gently rally. Great calls today. Everything happened fast, which we love. And in an ideal world, that's our lives. Does anyone have any questions about anything? If not, I'm going to let everybody go. Because the maintenance man can come in and do his thing. And... Boy, that was a good... I, have, I had a really, really good uh, word for the week password. Boy, was that a good password. Where did I get that? <laughs> Whatever I was thinking over the weekend. Oh, I want to say one more thing I thought of what Trader Gal had asked. Red said, thank you for everything today, Melissa. You're welcome. Nobody else wants to share how much money they made? Thank you for an awesome day. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah, they just paid for half the class for you, Magic88. You took it two days ago. Taking risk can pay off in things that you do. Many, many people are afraid to take risk. They won't ever get anywhere in their life. It's a risk when you get out of bed in the morning. you got to learn how to take risk if you want to get somewhere with your life. But you do have to be good at trading in order to take risk. you got to learn how to do that, though. But the thing is that you can. Looking back how at Evolving, I was, I've been cleaning out my closets. I need to make room for some clothes that I bought and things and going through some old plastic crates of stuff and just going through stuff that I did like 100 years ago when I first started out with my trading and looking at things. And, you know, I mean, thinking about things that happened to me so long ago that I just even forgot about. I mean, so many things have happened to me that I don't even remember them all. I mean, I will remember them. They're all coming back now. And, and, I, and I've begun to write a book. But it's like no one really knows everything that happened to me but me. Like not even my parents. And they were there for a lot of it. But really, like there's so many things that happened to me. Like I almost forgot them all. I'm remembering them all. And I will continue to remember them all. And I'll put them in the book. But there's just so many things that have happened to me. Anyways... And, and they're all, like, things that are just unbelievable. Anyways, the, the, uh, the one thing that I was finding was it's almost like everything that's happened to me is unbelievable. I mean, I, I even forgot some of the crazy stuff that's happened to me. Anyways, the one of the, I was going through, I used to make these, oh, I used to get these binders, okay? I used to just, I had binders and binders and binders, and I used to print out all of my charts. Just, I was obsessive about printing them out and drawing on them, and then I... Then I would have the gap sheet and I would print out the chart, all the charts. I'd print out the one minute, the two minute, the five minute, the 15 minute, the daily. I'd print out everything and then I'd have it with the sheet and then I'd have it. I mean, I had so much paper and I kept everything. And and I am like have to organize and clean this stuff and I don't need to keep it anymore. But it was so funny. Like, I, I don't know how many different versions of trading plans I had. Like, I had so many. As I was finding these, I was like, I was laughing to myself out loud of all the different versions of trading plans. I mean, I'm not going to throw that stuff away because it's really cute to look at it. Um, but I mean, I had, a, I was evolving constantly, but I still had everything down. Like I would do it, then I'd make it, I'd change it. Then I'd do it, then I'd change it. I'd do it, then I'd change it. I'd do it, then I'd change it. And I was, the I was constant evolvement and everything. I kept everything and I kept everything and kept it and kept it and kept it. And I was, I found that the other day and it's cleaning out the closet. Just because you're, you, you're writing stuff down doesn't mean it's in stone and it's never going to change. Things evolve over time. And so do you. But I was in a stage where I was like, I was doing, it was constantly evolving. It was just like, I couldn't keep up with myself, you know, because I was trying to get to that point. The drag on it all was the financial piece of it to get me to the place of the evolvement. And many, many people have that situation when they're trading because you find yourself evolving to become this amazing trader. But to get to that point, the drag on you financially is costly. Unless you come and learn from someone like me who just teaches you it and you just pay one fee for a class. But... If you're just doing it live in the market, it can, it, it, it can, even as you're evolving, the drag is on you. I got to give myself credit. I recognized that I was good, even though the money had drugged me down. And 
that allowed me to just move forward. So on paper, I had given so much to the market, but my level of involvement and knowledge was, was so supreme that I, that I knew that I, I could move forward. And, and I just did it fearlessly. And I think you, you must do that. You must do that. If you're at that place now, you must do that or you won't get to the next place. And that is really being fearless because you're, you're looking at it and you're saying the situation looks so dark on paper because of what I've lost in the market or in classes or whatever. But you got to know that you know what you know and you can do it and move forward. It's, I say that in the class or whatever class it is, the wealth manifestation class or the gap class. No, it's the wealth manifestation class. And I say, remember who you are. Remember who you are because I kept reminding myself of that as I was in those dark years of my life. I always knew who I was. And you must always remind yourself of that, okay? If you do, you will come out of it, okay? Whatever that period of your life is. And if you are evolving and you know you are, and you know who you are, even if on paper your financial situation is not what you want it to be or not what it was before or are, are not even something that you feel is enough you will find your way through it you will you will do it you will get there okay because you know who you are and you have evolved and you know that you will be able to do it and and you will okay there have been so many people i was thinking about this I gotta write this down right now. I was I was walking down 42nd Street thinking about this the other day. Or no, it was 8th Avenue or 9th Avenue. There, I I could make a list of people that have taken a chance on me. I I could make a list. I, I was willing to take risks in my own life, and as a result, there are so many people that took a risk on me. I mean, I, I there are so many people that have, that have taken a risk on me right now. There are people that are taking a risk on me. There are so, uh, every, I step forward into the world and I'm willing to take risk and, and I need someone to back me up and then they take a risk on me and, and it's all, all of it's paying off. So, you know, the thing is like, if you're willing to take a risk out in the universe and do something, you'll find that people are willing to support you. People are willing to support you in that positive energy, but you have to believe in yourself. And if you falter or fall, then you'll lose, then you'll, then you'll lose it and you'll lose the people that are supporting you too. So if you're willing to take a risk, not only will it pay off for you if it's in the right direction, if you believe in yourself, you will find that people will be willing to support you through that process, whatever whatever it happens to be. And trading is one of these things, and we were talking about this last week with Beast Trader because he was going to get married to somebody that did not support him becoming a trader. And I said, I knew that wasn't going to last. And, and the reality is you have to have supportive people in your life because this is something where you're doing where you're taking a risk. You do not know the outcome. You don't know how much money you're going to make six months from now, a year from now, every day you get up and trade. And as I'm talking right now, Urban's trying to break a low. Look. Anyways, um, I had a lot of people willing to take risks on me to help me get where I am today. It, 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 and, and, and look, okay, this is going to break a low. Wow. If I had seen that had held that lower level of resistance, I would have done the third ad. Maybe I'd still be in some of this. I just, I missed that. I wasn't, I was thinking I was going to do the AA first. Well, hold on. This didn't break the low yet. Let's see. 36, 33, 34. Yes, the, the Preakness was on, and I actually didn't even watch it. I taped it because I had the class. I'm still going to watch it because the the American Pharaoh won, yes. That's so hard of a race, though. I'd be shocked if he wins the Belmont. What did you do to Trader Gal? That was insane. What did you do to print out your charts and everything? Or what did you do that was insane? You learn not everything works all the time. Yeah, that's true. And you really have to learn that. But that's why you got to be very, very specific. And, and, and I grasped that concept very soon. I mean, I will give myself credit for that. The, the insanity of doing so many different things a day, long and short and different strategies, I picked up on that within, I'd say, the first six months. It might have even been the first four or five uh, that I realized that it was 
that no, you know, this idea of doing too many things was, was really, wasn't not the way to go. I mean, I did pick up on that really fast. And some people waste years of their life trying to do too many different things. Like, I mean, 10, 15, 20 years. I'm lucky that within the moment that I started, I mean, I think it was even like March of 2009 by, and I'd started the end of 2008. I think it was like, it, I think it was within the first four months that I picked up really quick uh, that it was about just doing one thing. Like that just, that was like so evident to me and with this trading thing. Cause it just was like, you know, there was just too much going on and, and I was in a million different rooms and the rooms were calling a thousand trades and you can't even follow the person or the people. And it was just like so many different people talking and I hated, I absolutely hated seeing all that chatter in the room. As a person that was in the room, I hated seeing the chatter and I hated seeing people gibber gabber and socialize and talk and talk about things that had nothing to do with trading. And I was trying to make money and I wanted to listen to the moderator and I only wanted to hear his comments and see his things. And that's probably one of the other reasons I actually have the room closed off because I hated being in rooms where you could see other people talking. It annoyed me. I took away from my focus. I couldn't pay attention to what the moderator was saying, which is the only person I cared about. That's one of the reasons that I had the room closed off also for the thing with the trials, but I just, there was just too much going on and there was too many different kinds of things the person, the people were doing and I just felt it was such a distraction and I just knew that it was about just the focus. I mean, I just knew that because things happen so fast. Look how fast this happened today. I mean, I will grant you that if you miss this, and then I'm gonna let everybody go, if you miss this and you miss this, you did have time to do this, but you know what, this may not have worked. And actually it did, but I'm telling you, this is, you know, time of the day here is okay, but like, this is not ideal. It's kind of crappy actually. And if you didn't know where to put the number to take it, it was really actually kind of crappy. Uh, because there were people trying to buy this here. I mean, trader gal was right, but they weren't the ones in control, which I told you. So we stayed with the trade, but it really had to hold, it did. But I'm just saying like, things happen fast. And if you're not focused, you're not going to get it. I mean, DKS fell out of the sky today, and, and I didn't get it. And I guess I could have tried to just, you know, flip on it. I, I could have tried harder to flip on it, but I was really waiting for this. I just didn't do it. Uh, I was waiting for this to open is what I was waiting. But, you know, things happen fast. So you must know what you're looking for and why, and the target, and the entry, and the resistance, and, and you got to know it all. And you have to know how to take the entry and size yourself, too, in your head. You printed stuff, analyze it, change plans all the time. That's good. Keep doing it. Don't ever stop. Hard to settle in. You can you can settle in now. You can start to add something here with the ads. Belmont is a very long race. That's why it's so hard to win the triple crown. Yep. I don't see it happening, but it could. It'd be exciting if it was. It's going to be hard to get tickets to go there. They're going to be expensive. You peel off. As you go along, yeah, I think that's okay. You're, you're doing fine. You're doing fine here. I just, I think you'll make more than on the ones that do the ads if you start to add back, even though you peel off. All right, great job, everyone, today. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous day for everyone. If you did everything, one thing, two things, everybody should be good. Learning ads is a good thing. We'll talk more about all this stuff later. Great lecture today. Keep evolving. Just because you're making a trading plan and have it on paper doesn't mean it doesn't evolve. I did that for umpteen years. That's what I'm talking about. That was the point I was trying to make. And you have to learn how to do this well so that you can take more size because it's a good thing. Frequent Flyer, congratulations for having your first comma day. And Magic 88 as well. Okay. Jack, let's ask the Magic 8 Ball if we're going to have a really good one tomorrow before we go. Okay. Are we going to get a really, really good, perfect gap tomorrow? I mean, a short of the room. You may rely on it. Woo! That's a good answer. And the last time we asked the Magic 8 Ball, it was right. All right. Now we can be positive. And I've got to let the maintenance man in. So have a good day, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Okay, remember the room's closed Thursday and Friday. But we'll be here tomorrow, ready to go. Lots of things to look at. Great call in Urban today. I'll see everybody tomorrow morning. You're welcome. You're welcome.